morning, everyone. Just left Thief River Falls. A lot later than I thought I would be. I'm on the way home. I'm not gonna be able to do anything more with my day now. I misunderstood this three to seven or two to eight hour split rule in the US. I messed up my clock last night on my e-log and it forced me to have to stay an extra hour this morning. I had parked the truck, went off duty, and then had to move the truck. And when I rolled forward, I rolled forward a little bit too fast and it clicked my e-log into driving. I know, rookie mistake. So I didn't go into any violations. I still had the time on my clock. However, now my rest break had to start over. And I couldn't use the split hour rule either because I hadn't stopped for at least a two hour break anywhere throughout my day. So the split hour rule was out the window if I wanted to extend my hours. I had to stop for 10 hours consecutive before I could get rolling, rolling again. Ah. So, cost me about an hour, hour and a half or so this morning. Oh, probably a little more than that actually. Until my clock rolled over to 10 hours and allowed me to get going. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that this morning, but we're still gonna make this a good day. I've got a coffee with me right here had a good breakfast and I'm headed home, which is the best part. I gotta bring this load that I have behind me just to our yard south of Winnipeg and drop the trailer and head on home. It's gonna be a bit of a longer weekend. This weekend that I'm, that's coming up for me because I, I film these in advance, so it'll get released a little later. So I understand that. This weekend is Canada Day where we celebrate the birthday of our nation of Canada. And it's also Independence Day, where our neighbors and us celebrate their independence. So I got uh, till Wednesday next week off. Nothing much to do during the week, because everything's closed. So we're gonna have fun this week. We got some uh, barbecues planned, we're getting together with some friends, getting together with some family gonna be a lot of fun and enjoy the good summer weather a little bit before we get back to work again and hammer down once again I can't believe I messed up my logs last night though and kicked myself into driving see what happens for those of you who don't drive truck as soon as you start rolling forward and you go above something like three miles an hour or something like five kilometers an hour it'll automatically push you into driving it'll say that you're driving your truck you are now driving on the logbook and you can't change that without approval from the office, right? Now, I could have called in and explained it, and they probably would have, you know, helped me out, maybe. I don't know what their obligations are on their end. I didn't even ask. Maybe they wouldn't be able to do anything. I don't want to say what they can or can't do. I could have explained myself and see if we could, like, erase that, like, 30 seconds of driving. But, you know what? I woke up this morning. Figured, you know what? I... By the time I eat my breakfast, got the truck ready to go, I only had to sit just a little bit extra anyway, so it, it was okay. We made it work. We made it work, and I feel good because I'm going home. Now, I figured I could make use of the split hour rule in the U.S. You can either do a two to eight hour split or a three to seven hour split, but that means I would have had to have stopped for at least a two hour break sometime throughout my day. Now, this is something new that I've just learned. I was not familiar with the split sleeper berth, sleeper, split off duty hours of service regulation in the US until very recently. I would always just stop for my 10 hours just to make sure I was covered. And I wouldn't have to worry about it, right? Turns out you can split your sleeper berth into two sections, but you gotta be very sneaky and careful. Well, not sneaky, you gotta be very careful about it because the government is very sneaky with how they made it. It's very confusing. Canada's hours of service, the way we can split up our 10 hours, I feel is a little bit better. You can go into the sleep of birth for eight hours, and then the last two hours, you can split up throughout your day in half hour increments. Not so in the US. You can stop for two or three hours and borrow that from your 14. And then when you stop, 
right? It sort of pauses your 14 hour clock for that three hours, right? And then when you stop, you finish off the rest of your 10 hours, but then you don't get a full day back. Like in Canada, you get your full day back then. No, no, in the US, you don't get your full day back. You only get the hours back that you didn't use before the end of your break. I know, it doesn't make any sense, right? I had to, I had to go through many YouTube videos and many descriptions of detailed descriptions of how this all works. We're gonna leave that flatbed, pardon me, step deck, drop deck, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna leave it there. We're gonna grab a box. That one right there looks very nice. I like it. I'm gonna grab that one. We're gonna take that one back down to Thief River Falls. We're gonna do another rounder. So I'm empty. I can cross through from Tolstoy, Manitoba to Lancaster, Minnesota. You can't cross through there with goods, but if you're empty, you can cross through there before 6 p.m., I believe. We'll go down there, drop the empty van, and grab on to a, another loaded step deck, just like the one I brought up. Bring it back here, drop it in the middle of the yard where they can unload it next week sometime, and then go home. Make a little bit of extra money this week yet. You're gonna squeak one more load in. So I've got my tarps inside the van trailer, just to bring them down there with me. Then I'll take them out of the van and put them onto the flatbed. I just I have to take them with me everywhere I go. They're like, they're like I call them my, like my little tarp children. They have to come with me everywhere I go. Strapped to me, otherwise they might disappear. Another beautiful prairie sunset. It's quite late already. It's about nine o'clock at night. Got that flatbed behind me, or step deck. Just gotta drop it in our yard. So we've already been down there, dropped the van, hooked onto this one, and I've been booking it back. I had to stop for a little bit to make a slight repair to my visor. Uh, this part that's two-way taped to my, to my window here, that's how it's stabilized, it came loose. And then as I was trying to fix that, the rubber piece came loose from the metal piece, which means that now the metal piece would be resting against my windshield. And that's not good, because it's gonna crack it. It's gonna whack, 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 whack against the windshield like that, right? So I had to stop at a hardware store, grab some super glue, some new screws, and I actually screwed that rubber piece onto the metal bracket of my visor, and put super glue in between there as well, or Gorilla Glue, same thing. And then got some new two-piece tape for on my window. But unfortunately, I think my window was a little too moist or wet after I'd wiped it, and it's not sticking to my window as well as I'd like it to. 
been sticking, but I'm gonna have to redo it this weekend sometime. Just that little piece between that rubber mallet and the windshield. Because I don't have uh, a bar going up the middle of my window here, I have a one-piece windshield. That's how 12 Gauge Customs builds their visors and uh, that's the way it stabilizes it so that it doesn't go flopping around, right? I didn't know that for the longest time. I had a strap running in there and we were gonna try to figure out how to stabilize it. So I called the guys at 12 Gauge and they're like, well, did you two-way tape it to the windshield? I'm like, no. <laughs> so that solved all my problems this week, but I gotta get it right. I haven't quite got it right yet, so. That's the thing with, you know, these aftermarket accessories. You sort of got to fiddle with them for a little bit just till you get it just right. But, I still like it. Just getting home a lot later than I wanted to now because of that. That took me two hours, believe it or not, <clears throat> to figure that all out and get to the hardware store, get the supplies I needed. We did that in Thief River Falls. So that uh, slowed me down a little bit, but I'm still gonna make it. I still got plenty of time on my hours. I'm about an hour away from the yard now. So I was hoping to be sitting at home already holding Theo, but... Plans don't always work out, right? okay I took this extra load to Thief River just for a couple extra bucks because next week is like I said Canada Day and Independence Day so this whole continent is going to be celebrating for a few days <clears throat> I'll be back at work on Wednesday after the long weekend so we've got a bunch of plans hopefully we can get some fireworks in somewhere Quickly gonna drop this trailer. Ah, hit myself in the face with a strap. I deserve that probably. Trying to be quick, but not reckless. We don't want to forget our tarps. Brian rolled this one up for me in Brainerd. Look at it. I've never seen a tarp rolled up so tight. That's pretty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and here's one I've rolled up. Just a mess. Okay. It's a beautiful time of year when you can still have the windows down when it's dark outside. That's nice. Oh, I'm so excited to get home. Getting all my floor towels, laundry, everything else out of here. I gotta give another shout out to the Odyssey truck mattress. Man, such great mattresses. Honestly, I sleep so well in there. And these are my floor towels. I have all of the surface, like all of my floor surface in my truck covered in towels. So much easier. You just gently pull these out at the end of your trip 
Mm -hmm. Air them out outside a bit, go wash them, bring them back. Floor is always clean. Much easier to clean this than scrubbing the floor beneath it. I think that's everything. And if I forgot something, I can always come back and get it tomorrow. Let's go home. Good night, Oblo. Boys? Being awfully good. Hey. There he is. Looking at me like I'm late. Hi. Hi. I'm finally home. I'm gonna wash my hands and clean up and then I can pick you up, okay? Yeah. 